The Helium HNT redenomination was publicly voted on and passed nearly three months ago. From the very beginning, it was never expected to be implemented right away, but after the expected target was pushed back once already, people in the community groups and Discord channels are beginning to get frustrated and are asking for updates. The latest update on January 12th states that it will happen sometime during Q1 of this year. Imagining how complicated this must be to coordinate between all the different exchanges and third parties, I had already tempered my expectations from the beginning, so I am not too concerned regarding the timing here. But more recently, there is some chatter in the Discord that suggests the redenomination might not be needed anymore and could be re-voted on due to the new Helium DAO structure. It's very important to note that this chatter comes from Tushar Jain, a managing partner at Multicoin Capital. This sparks some very interesting and concerned discussions throughout several Discord channels. Let's take a look at the details in today's video. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video here in the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you're having a great day. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. It really helps support the channel, and I really, really would appreciate it. Today's video is going to be about the pending HNT redenomination, when it's happening, what are the updates, and what are people saying about it. As I mentioned in the intro, it is starting to actually look like there's a chance that it might not actually happen or get voted against or re-voted on depending on the passing of HIP 51 and 52, depending on how those two HIPs are voted on, if they pass or if they don't, there is a chance it seems like that the HNT redenomination that was already voted on might not happen. I do just want to talk about the Google split recently. Now, of course, this type of stock split and this HNT redenomination are not the same thing. They are different things. However, the goal of each of them is to do the same thing. However, I want to make it clear they are not the same thing. That being said, Google's stock split 20 to 1 stock split has recently got a lot of publicity and most of it has been extremely, extremely positive. I did just want to highlight this one example right here quickly. Alphabet's split decision bodes well for shares. Uh, and as you can see here, Alphabet's proposed 20 to 1 stock split and more aggressive buybacks indicate that management is becoming more shareholder friendly, according to B of A. Now, this is coming from B of A, perhaps the most mocked institution on Wall Street. So I would not take this to heart. However, they are not wrong when they say, Okay. While it does not change fundamentals, the split can increase liquidity, analyst Justin Post said. Now, that is 100% true, and that is what the HNT redenomination is proposed to do here for the HNT price. Now, I just wanted to mention that quickly, just because it's in the news recently, talked about a lot, and the mechanics behind that split and this redenomination are effectively the same in terms of price. Now, back to this split. The latest update here from the split, as I mentioned in the intro, was on January 12th, where JMF, one of the authors of this hip, mentions right here that the goal is to have it all implemented this quarter. Most exchanges are just waiting on final docs and timing is what he said. Now that was about a month ago tomorrow. So there hasn't been an update in very long and people have been getting curious. Now what really triggered a massive tsunami of comments inside of different discord channels and even on some of the videos that I've posted in the past few weeks, a lot of people have been asking about the updates around this redenomination and about two shorts comment right here. As we can see right inside of the helium hip 50 52 lower end sub DAO. One of the first comments here is Tushar, and he says, one nice side effect of this proposal is that we don't need to do the HIP39 redenomination anymore because the Loran sub DAO token will have the low price and unit bias. Now, of course, the low price and unit bias were effectively the main two reasons for wanting to implement and pass HIP39. So he is saying that this sub DAO now, being that it will be governed separately with its own economics, can effectively have the redenomination built into the sub DAO rather than having to do the redenomination on the level one or HNT level. Now, my first reaction to this, of course, I am not a super technical person with regards to how this is working, but my first reaction to this was it made more sense to me to have the unit bias and the low price on the primary HNT token and have all other 
other sub DAOs adjusted to the already redenominated H and T. It seems like a cleaner way to do things. And it would also give the low price and unit bias across the entire ecosystem rather than just to specific sub DAOs. Now, Keith R immediately makes a really good comment, which is one of the first questions I was going to have, because from my understanding, these sub DAO tokens are not actually tradable. They are just related to HNT based on the bonding curve. And that is the question he asks. He says, it is my understanding that HNT will not be a tradable token on the open market. So that basically would make it so that the, the low price and unit bias don't matter because that's not an actual directly traded token. However, Tushar replies, this makes this even more complicated because this is another layer and this is more information that we're learning about these sub DAOs. He says HNT would be tradable on a secondary market because it is a permissionless token. The bonding curve provides a guaranteed market for the token, but it's not the exclusive market. And now Keith here has the exact same response I would have had. That's a bummer. Now I really have to worry about picking winners and losers among the sub DAOs. Now Tushar confirms down here, he says, yes, the intention is for the market to signal which wire wireless network protocol they think are the most useful and help allocate resources towards those networks. So by being traded separately from HNT, we will be able to gauge where the resources should be dictated inside of all of the different Helium Network sub DAOs, which is incredibly interesting and is a little bit different than the understanding that I had. Now that will be a topic for another video. Let's get back to the actual HNT redenomination discussion. Now HG here gets right to the point and asks the question that really everyone is worried about. He says, I'll just go ahead and ask directly, will HIP 39 implementation be delayed until decisions are made on HIP 51 and 52? Now hash code here, who is part of the Helium team, does respond. He says, core team is going to assume nothing is going to change. We're implementing the chain variables that are needed for the redenomination starting next month, unless the community tells us otherwise. Now that is very good to hear. That sounds like there is nothing that is going to change with regards to the implementation of this redenomination. However, inside of the HIP 39 channel, there was a little bit more discussion regarding the possibility of HIP 39 actually being canceled or being re-voted on. As you can see down here, there is more discussion that regards Tushard's comment directly and Keith here, he actually suggests a different idea, which is 100 to 1 redenomination of the HNT token and a 100 to 1 Loran DAO redenomination as well. So splitting up rather than 1000 to 1 on HNT do 100 to 1 on HNT and then 100 to 1 on the Loran DAO token. And BFG Neil here, who is a moderator and a very big contributor to the healing community, says, yeah, that's what I think the new idea with DAOs is. Don't do the redom as it can be done on the L2 to fit needs. Now, guys, one of the most important comments here regarding the potential for this HIP39 redenomination to not go through actually, of course, comes from JMF, who is one of the authors of HIP39. He says, I obviously support HIP39. I'm just returning from a trip, so I still need to wrap my head around the argument being made in relation to HIP 51. It was not my intent to have it overtake 39, but I also need to think through the pros and cons of having the unit bias issues handled at an L1 versus L2 level. My knee-jerk reaction is that doing it at L2 handles some but not all of the unit bias motivations and would obviously want to make sure it was handled at the L2 level in the first place. Now we have to remember JMF is obviously very close to the technical inner workings of HIP39, I am just having trouble trying to understand the benefits of having this redenomination done on the L2 levels rather than the L1. It seems to me as though all of the benefits will still be there if it's done on the L1 level, and if it's done on the L2 level, then we will have some of the benefits, but not all of them. So guys, this is what is being talked about now, and we don't know what's happening outside of this Discord channel between the Helium core developers and team. However, I do think that any changes that do happen will have to be voted on, especially if they wanna make changes to HIP 39, as the community did successfully vote on that on chain. As of right now, from what I understand is that of course there might be dis some discussions about how to change the redenomination strategy or if it should be canceled entirely and just done on the sub DAO level. However, until there is some sort of vote that takes place, I don't think there can be any changes to HIP 39. Of course, we also need to wait to see what happens with the votes on HIP 51 and 52. These are incredibly important votes. I do hope that 51 and 52 pass with flying colors. Of course, I believe that the sub DAO and the DAO structure 
is hugely valuable to the helium ecosystem. However, if those do pass or when they do pass, that is when we will start to find out if there is some changes happening to HIP39. Guys, I hope that was helpful. Of course, there's a lot going on in these channels. I encourage you guys to read through them. A lot of very smart people contributing here in the official Helium Discord. Let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys are still in favor of the HIP39, if you want it canceled, or if you think all of this should be maintained from the sub DAO level. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys found this useful. Please let me know what you guys are thinking down below. I love to read through them. I try to reply to as many as I can, but thank you all so much for watching until the end. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Please hit that like and subscribe if you have not already, but just like that, this video is over and I will see you next time.